How does Leslie hope you're well? In this video on Bitcoin, I want to draw your attention to something that has never happened before in the entire history of Bitcoin. And also, guys, in this video, I want to talk to you about an important mistake people are making with regard to chart analysis. Before we talk about that, let me first of all mention what I said to our members just recently on the 17th of May. So this is what I said to our members on the 17th of May before the crash on Bitcoin. So as you'll see here, I said to keep it simple, as long as Bitcoin remains below 46.445 to 46.980, pressure remains to the downside. And I said a move below 43.350 could open the door for another drop towards 47.12 to the daily 200, the daily 200 SMA near 39.552. And I said we've seen before how Bitcoin can sometimes overshoot the mark. So we need to be careful here as C waves can be very volatile and deep, so they may extend even lower than support levels. In fact, that is exactly what Bitcoin did. It did overshoot the mark, as you can see here, just a couple of days ago. It spiked lower. In fact, it did exactly what it did back in 2016. Let me show you this, this is 2016. I was expecting something very similar to this, as you can see here. In the summer of 2016, Bitcoin put out a very similar pattern, like an ABC type pattern here, and it spiked lower. It did overshoot the mark, as you can see here. Okay, let me continue. What I also said to our members before the crash, I said, we remain cautious as this potential ABC correction, so ABC correction continues. It is worth remembering that it's very dangerous to try and catch a falling knife, price with increasing downward momentum. So as long as Bitcoin remains below resistance, the probable C wave can extend lower, ranging from 47.12 to 34.877 and 31.583, which is the logarithmic 38.2% Fibonacci retracement of the September to April rally. What am I talking about? Well, let's go on the chart and I'll show you this. So as you can see here, guys, if we just zoom back, if you look at the September low, so that's the September low there, and that's the April high. And if you do a Fibonacci retracement tool from this low all the way to that high, that's what you'll get. That's the orange line. That orange line you see on my chart is the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement based on the logarithmic scale. So just to show you what I mean, that means you need to apply the logarithmic setting on your Fibonacci retracement tool if you have one, as you can see here. So that's what we did. And you can see Bitcoin retraced to exactly that level at 31. 583, which is more or less the level it managed to bounce off from, as you can see here. So beautifully done. As you can see here, Bitcoin did overshoot the support level and actually went and tested the 38.2% Fibonacci level at 31,583. And has so far managed to bounce off from that level. Currently, it's staying above the 200 daily moving average. And by the way, you'll see these letters on my chart, which as I'm sure you know, from Elliott Wave Theory, these are the Elliott Wave counts I've had on my chart now for some time. In fact, this is what I said to our members on the 2nd of May. I said, finally, in regards Bitcoin, as long as BTC remains below 62K, my higher probability expectation is still for a continuation of an ABC corrective pattern towards 45K to 40K levels over the next few weeks. So guys, my higher probability expectation for the last several weeks and months has been this is an A wave, potential B wave, and this is likely a C wave drop into support, the support level I mentioned just a few minutes ago, at the 38.2% logarithmic Fibonacci level, as you can see there. By the way, guys, before I talk to you about a significant thing that has not happened before on Bitcoin, I want to also just show you this, because in 2016, we had a very similar pattern. So this is back in 2016, we had a very similar ABC corrective pattern, A wave down, a B wave up, and then a C wave, a very volatile, nasty drop. And here's something I want to mention to you guys. A lot of people are thinking that this drop in the price of Bitcoin means we're in a bear market. That is incorrect. Look, it is very dangerous to call something a bear market just because it's dropped by some arbitrary number. So what's happening is some YouTubers and some Bitcoin chartists are wrongly saying that Bitcoin is in a bear market just because it's dropped by 50%. So looking at the price of Bitcoin and saying, oh, okay, because it's dropped 50% from its highs to its lows, therefore, this is now a bear market. That is not correct. I spoke with a fantastic chart analyst. Her name is Linda Rashke, and she said, you cannot use an arbitrary number like 25%, 30%, 40%, 50% to determine a bear market. These arbitrary numbers, like a 50% drop, does not mean that price has moved into a bear market. For example, let me show you this. Back in 2016, we saw a near 40% drop, as you can see here, price of Bitcoin dropped almost 40% from its highs 
to its lows. Now let me ask you this, was that a bear market? It couldn't be. In fact, as you can see here, the price of Bitcoin continued to rally higher and higher over the next several months and years. In fact, here's another one for you. Here's another example for you. This is back in 2017, in June of 2017. Have a look. The price of Bitcoin traced out a very similar pattern. As you can see, it dropped in an ABC type pattern. Again, classic Elliott wave pattern. But just because it dropped 40%, does that mean it dropped into a bear market? No. Again, Bitcoin continued to rally higher. You can see the price of Bitcoin went from, from about 2,000 all the way up, continued to go higher and higher into 4,000, 8,000, 10,000, eventually up to 19,000. So guys, my point is, it is very dangerous to use arbitrary numbers like 20%, 30%, 40%, 50% to determine a bear market. That is not how you identify a bear market. I'm making for you a video, a special video in the next few days, which I'll publish very soon here on this channel. And it will show you very simply how you identify a bear market. All right, guys, so wait for that video. I'll be publishing that very soon on how you can identify the start of a bear market. It has nothing to do with arbitrary numbers like 20%, 40%, 50%, or things like that. So guys, so far so good. Bitcoin has put out a very nice, decent ABC pattern, which we've been expecting now for some time. So there's our ABC pattern. We've held, we've held above the 38.2% Fibonacci retracement level, bounce from this level, and we're right now, currently as I'm making this video, we're above the 200 SMA on the daily chart. But here's something, guys, that has never happened before on the price chart of Bitcoin. And that's what's happening on the MACD. Take a look at the MACD down here, okay? Look at this. The MACD has dropped to a historical low. In fact, we've never seen the MACD at such low levels in its price history, okay? In fact, you can go back as far as you want, as far back as the history price chart goes on Bitcoin. Look at this, look at that. That's where Bitcoin's MACD is right now, at minus 4,000, as you can see there. Never in the price history of Bitcoin has the MACD ever dropped so low, never. Now you can go back and, you know, take the chart as far back as you want, you can go back as far as, you know, 2012, 2010, and you will never see the MACD at such a low level. Even back in uh, 2015, for example, it didn't drop to such an extent or low level. So this, what we're seeing right now, so this MACD you're seeing here is at a historical low. And in case you're wondering, what does it mean? It means that the price of Bitcoin right now potentially is extremely oversold. In fact, the only time I've ever seen a price chart show a MACD so oversold was probably back in 2020 last year with the stock market, the S&P. Take a look at the S&P chart. This is 2020. This is during the panic crash at the start of the pandemic. And you can see what happened to the MACD. It dropped to a historical low. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, that low on the daily chart of the S&P, that was at a historical low. The MACD had never dropped before in its price history to such a low level. As you can see, look at the MACD there minus 230, I think it was, never before was it at a historical low like this, never before. So what this means, when the MACD breaks support levels, so when the MACD drops to such an extent, to such a low level as it did, for example, in 2020, it is showing to you that the price is becoming extremely oversold. However, guys, I wanna make sure you're aware of this warning. Just because something is oversold does not mean it's bottomed. So as you saw for yourself in 2020, yes, the price did become extremely oversold and the MACD did drop to historical lows, but it took some time before the price bottomed out, okay? So just because something is extremely oversold does not mean that it has bottomed. We have to wait for an uptrend. The same thing applies with Bitcoin right now. Yes, the MACD has become extremely oversold. It has dropped to historical lows never before on the price chart of Bitcoin. But that does not necessarily mean just because something is oversold that the price is necessarily bottomed out, okay? Again, bottoming is a process. We have to be patient, okay? So yes, it is a good thing. It is a good thing the price of Bitcoin has bounced off from the 38.2% Fibonacci level. It is a good thing that it's above the 200 SMA right now on the daily chart. But remember, we are not yet seeing an uptrend. We have to wait for an uptrend. So I do urge some caution here. Be very careful, be very cautious, and let's wait for that uptrend to start resuming. All right, guys, before I finish the video, I just wanna give a shout out to my good friend, Sara, who has a channel on YouTube called Hello Iran TV. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to her channel, please do so. In fact, I have posted some of my own videos of my trip to Iran on her channel. So if you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and check it out. 
you'll be able to see some of my own videos and also Sara's videos, which are fantastic on her channel. So guys, please subscribe. Go to this link you're seeing here, uh, youtube.com forward slash hello Iran TV. Uh, join up and I really appreciate it, guys. Thanks very much indeed. Bye for now. <laughs>